Is Scarlet going to be graduating soon? Nidhi Sanji has unoriginal merch. No. Is the big news that I wanted you guys to see today. I'm starting with this because that's why a lot of people are here. To make sure that uh, they get the news in regards to Scarlet Yonagumi, which is still a beloved part of Nidhi Sanji EN. I say beloved because she has made sure not to get into drama. Drama is never fun to get into. Drama is never good to get into. It stresses the hell out of people. It is fun to watch sometimes, but if you're involved in it and uh, you are a first party player, or even third party in the same company, it becomes a problem. It becomes a big problem because like I said, some people aren't meant, they aren't uh, created equal when it comes to the amount of drama they can take. I'm someone who doesn't like to take in drama i don't like to be involved in drama uh it does a large number on me because i have anxiety i have anxiety disorder so it does a large number on me but continuing on right here false alarm on scarlet's graduation recent twitter post uh people are wondering if it's a false alarm or if it's something that she is just not being happy at what's going on and not making you know making sure that people are, are aware of it if people have been aware of it it says just wanted to address really quick since I've been on hiatus, my Twitter and YouTube have always been public. For over a year, this Twitter account has been public. I only privated it a short amount of time, and it took off private again. So, sorry for any confusion. Now back to Armored Core 6, because I guess they're doing Armored Core 6 recently. Uh, this can be interpreted in many ways. It can be interpreted as just her wanting to get uh, the old stuff back going. Um, it can be interpreted as her seeing if people even are looking at what's going on if there's even people viewing what she's doing and seeing if there is a possible out for the person a possible community to go to when they're out now knowing what's happened to previous Nidhi Sanji EN livers at least the most recent ones even Sayu I can honestly say and I think a lot of people will agree with me that there is a lot that they can go for in a community there's a lot that they can go for when it comes to after they leave Nidhi Sanji. It's not what Nidhi Sanji tells you that, oh my God, you are nothing without us. You are nothing if you're not in, inside of Nidhi Sanji. It's nothing like that. So it is one of those things that you have to uh, take a look at. And she, of course, has to view and see if it's going to be viable economically for her. So this is a possible out. Uh, it's good she's open about it, though I can't help but worry she privated it for a short amount of time after the whole Starbucks situation. If people were harassing her on her PL, people would because people, if people find it now, they're going to find it when the Starbucks thing happened. It's cool that she addresses it. As we always said, none of the actions have to mean anything. It'd be nice if people didn't post speculations on her PL stuff. YouTube comment on video said something about it. Twitter up on privating. This kind of thing wouldn't have to happen. It sort of puts the person on the spot. Good thing she's cool about it. Can't deny I understand people wanting to do that though. She has never liked drama or negative Twitter attention. Like to just do her thing so i can see past few months being hard on her so i would like not be surprised if once again she leaves to, or she tries to she can leave her she tries to at this point being in Sanji is more of a liability than the benefits from it i admit i have no evidence to back it up but my gut feeling is that she'll graduate again this is a rat uh yes apparently didn't she didn't apparently have to have her account private for that long of a time but to me that doesn't really change much but then again this is a gut feeling something with less merit than even a rat so do feel free to write this off as copium like i said sometimes people will have a little bit of like hmm would this be viable would this not be viable it could just be she wants to get back to her old community too to let them know she's still around you know just because people miss friends people miss old friends they miss that kind of stuff it could be as simple as missing old friends i wanted to get into recontact i wanted people to know how she's doing making sure that during a hiatus she's doing fine so it could be a graduation could not be a graduation we don't know the only thing that will be cementing it is if she does or doesn't even if she does i have heard pretty much the earliest it'll happen is probably either late 2024 or early 2025 because she has a lot of plans now if those plans get you know kind of uh pigeonholed by Nidhi Sanji things get sped up or they could just stay the way that they are we don't know so as a bit of an update on what I had mentioned about this one before Mashiro channels apparently he had been banned according to this user here uh on 8 of June 2022 and on 8th of July 2022 he returned on a new channel which is currently at 412k subs so his original channel was banned. So the original channel was was just stopped, banned, d done. N no, no more, no more Mashiro channel. From a quick look at the stat sites, Mashiro Social Blade, Mashiro Meme Social Blade, they appear to have been a decent earner on the YouTube side. And from the VTuber Wiki History section, they were selected for various merch drops over the ban period. So there was ban evasion here. I don't like I said, it, it works differently for uh, large organizations, I guess. But this was if a small VTuber did this, this would be considered ban evasion. 
Seems like Nothing Burger sounded like he wanted to do true crime stuff and it got his channel banned. I mean, it's, it's the ban itself isn't the problem. The problem is getting, uh, you know, breaking the rules type of thing and not caring about it and YouTube not caring about it. I mean, doing true crime stuff would be great, but don't show bodies. That's common sense. Not so much of a Nothing Burger as the very least needs normal cleanup, a clear up apology. And that's that. I mean, like I said. Depends on the company. It is very sensitive stuff for YouTube. It's very sensitive stuff for a lot of people. I joked about the Aum Sunjikyo stuff before, but this is getting insane. Can we just report Mashiro meme for ban evasion? Is Niji operating it? it? Even if they aren't operating it under their umbrella of a corporate account, because you can get corporate accounts for your uh, organization, that you can have several channels underneath it, and you're still managing every single one of those channels. Like what Linus Tech Tips does for his stuff, like what people like, you know, uh, Mr. Beast does for his things. You can do that. Now, if it's full ban evasion or not, that's something for YouTube to decide. But if you guys want to do anything, you guys can because it's not necessarily harassment. It actually looks like it's ban evasion because the channel was removed. But I mean, they're not doing anything bad now. So me, I personally wouldn't do anything. I'll just let YouTube deal with it. But it should be brought at least to the attention of YouTube, in my opinion. And the opinions can differ, but this is my opinion. Wonderful and fine examples of Niji Sanji being Niji Sanji. Copy pasting every single little bit of merch that they possibly can. Right here. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. The copy, the copied merch doesn't keep coming. Basically, they're, they're just switching what the, the specific design, I guess, what actually is uh, printed on there. But other than that, it's the same stuff. Sunny Briscoe's birthday merch just has, you know, the Sunny Briscoe stuff here. I'll just put it bigger. It has this little photo thing, the uh, the acrylic photo holder, the Sunny Briscoe kind of like the, uh, I, I don't know if it's like a charm or a, or a watch. And then you have the buttons. Next one we show is Kitakoji Hisui. Kitakoji Hisui, who has a little shark here. This photo is used here. This uh, wallpaper, whatever you want to call it is used here it's using the little critic stand here uh so is a little charm here and the buttons are this are basically copy pasted for sakura ritsuki is also the same way sakura ritsuki has this the same type of stuff except of course the different design and the reason why i mention these things is that these people deserve better these people absolutely deserve better it doesn't matter if they're part of this organization it what matters is that they're actually working for them they're actually doing what they can to create content they're actually working hard at creating more content for this organization and the organization does not seem to appreciate them in the proper way of giving them at least some variation in the merch that they create for them again onomachi haruka Onomachi Haruka, the same thing, the same type of merch, copy pasted, and they deserve more. That's what I think. And yes, okay, both companies, Niji Sanji and Hollow Life, have similar situations where yes, they'll have a specific birthday merch that kind of looks the same. But what they try to do, at least what I've seen that they try to do, they try to have differentiation between the talents. Like Kali could have, you know, an Android type of thing, or could have a wall scroll, or could have something like that. Gura could have a backpack, you know, differentiate between the talents unless it is like a, if it's a generation wide event, maybe they'll have the same thing for each one. So you can get, you know, the same type of thing for each one. But in my opinion, this, and I hope it's, it doesn't sound too biased for you guys, but in my opinion, the Hololive does it better because what Hololive does is they try to at least differentiate things for people. You know what I mean? They're, they're all identical looking. They all are identical looking. And that's annoying. That can annoy anybody because um, it's just like, you, why are you doing this to them? Like, what have these talents done to you to deserve this type of treatment from you is my question. Like, have they uh, done something uh, negative to you? Um, have they, uh, you know, have they messed with you? Have they angered you? Have they uh, not done enough in terms of uh, the content that they create? Is that what it is for you? Uh, what is going on in the terms of Niji Sanji, or are you just lazy? Their birthday merch has been on the same for five years. I don't see why it keeping uh, this repost of this new information. That is the only merch they have ever sold for birthdays. Etsy merch is way better than this. I'm pretty sure that if you ask the seller nicely, he will write you a custom message himself. Ugh, this feels like an absolute copy paste of a side, be a sidewalk. Uh, they won't do that if no one's buying. Of course, if people don't buy, they don't do that. A lot of this merch is copied and pasted. Count number five. It's just a lot of copy pasted merch, unfortunately, for these these livers. Uh, people are wondering about Luxium Sorcerer. Been waiting on a mind lady and Niji Kamiyoshi is Shu and Dopio, but I have one idea of whether to trust Shu or not. 
I did send out Dopio will most likely is a good person since his PL is mutuals with Sayu, so that gave me a peace of mind, and PO didn't throw Sayu under the bus either, like Kotoka and Hex. Here's what I know. He is Niji's tech support, fought with management multiple times. The first question he asked management when Mista announced his graduation is that they can still mention him. Was the angriest man AR Live was cancelled since it was the only chance he could perform on stage with Mista? He was angry, basically. He was frustrated. He was angry. Okay. No controversies at all, as far as we can tell. Scolded people who sent blank threats to his fans. On top of that, he is a smart and wise person. From what I've seen, getting it seems like he's the type of guy to not let his followers or co-workers get left out, let alone getting bullied. He also sounds like the type of guy who really doesn't take BS from management. We don't know because we're not inside, but we'll just read what this guy says. On another hand, he is guilty by association by a lot. Not only is he a fellow gen mates with Luxium, I don't need to explain. He's ex Hanamori as well, Illyra Uki Claude. As my good friend said, if your circle is filled with bad people, chances are you are bad as well. And that happens a lot. Guilty by association. A rebuttal rat is that he could just be treating his genmates as co-workers and kept his distance since we don't know what's happening behind the scenes, especially given the recent Raziel mentioned that Luca has jealousy towards the rest of the members and fought with Ike and the Brotherhood in Luxium is not what it seems. Another rebuttal rat is that there should be at least a sane person keep the group together to keep the group together. And a person most likely is Shu, given he was the only one who's helped Luca for the first anniversary from Raziel's doc, though I can't come up with a rebuttal for the other stuff that's happening, for being ex Hanamori. I've also heard someone that the leaker could possibly be him. If anyone can explain why, please do. Uh, of course, giving receipts, if possible. Uh, the reason why I was under the leaker must be smart since they use big words and they knew about Nina and Uki's situation, which could mean that they will likely be from Lazulite up to Noctix, though it could be from some other gens due to gossip. Finally, Leaker was neutral and everyone saying bad guys, but when someone compared him to Shu, he got disgusted, which could pot potentially be his cover of tactic. Not sure what was stated. I might need to go recheck again. Yeah, he said basically he's not Shu. He doesn't like Shu. Uh, the Leaker also mentioned that they have been dissociated themselves from to the Niji Sanji persona, which might attribute to Shu's sporadic streams. Uh, again, attributing something that may just, you know, be just coincidence. However, it could be Fulger since... Fuchan, they're calling him Fuchan, that's interesting. Is a writer, therefore, he knows a lot of big words. The leaker knew about Scarlet's situation as Fulger and Scarlet are somewhat close, at least closer than Shu and Scarlet. But the leaker also mentioned Fuchan as a third person POV, but again, could be a cover up. Do note that the validity of these leakers is still questionable. It absolutely is. It's still a leak, it's still a rat, it's still, you know, possible. And I should bring up this, uh, that this can go either way. Anyone notice that after the AR Live, Shu's stream schedules have been sporadic. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I think he is. He might really be busy IRL. A devote to Niji, but either he is silently protesting the action or favoritism management is letting him get away since he arguably is one of the Niji's golden goose. The most likely explanation would be that he's burnt out. Could be. More info about the leaker. This is the YouTube stuff. Any ideas where he stands, feel free to voice out. But please remember to be cordial with each other. Of course, be cordial with each other. Always be cordial with each other. Always be cordial with whatever you can. And um, do not, do not like throw bad stuff. You know, let's see. Uh, I agree with these points in regards to Shu. He's heavily relied on by the rest of the livers. And if I remember correctly, his PL is previously auditioned for Hollow Live and Niji Sanji. So the fact that he would be the most upset about the cancellation of AR Live would make sense. He's most likely the closest thing to him doing some idol related. So it could be, could be any one of these, could be any of them. Overall, as of right now, I'm placing him in neutral position until more stuff comes out. And everyone should. Everyone should treat this more neutral until more, th more information that proves or disproves these things come out. Um, getting upset by AR cancellation destroying his idle dream. It could be something like that. Could just be other stuff. Like this person saying being associated with Hanamori isn't really a bad thing. Became a bad name because of the alleged nepotism since a lot of his former members got into Niji Sanji. Shinto was a member of Hanamori as well, and even auditioned for Niji before, but he didn't like it, so Shu knows what's right and wrong, and I don't think he participated in the drama. Of course, you know, it all it all depends. It all depends. Uh, forgot to mention that a suspicion that he could very well be muddied in the click again. So yeah, some people are throwing things here and there. Don't want to get too much into that. But yeah, um, this is all speculation, of course. He could be a part of it, they could be a part of it. We don't know, because we don't know anything that's going on, of course. A comment from a now suspended user back when Luxium was announced, age like milk or wine, depending on how you look at it. It is one of the reasons I prefer Niji EN over Hollow EN. Niji just treats their guys better. Looks like it insulted some people's Oshis. So, his age like milk because uh, it, they don't treat their livers better. They do treat Luxium better because Luxium is their golden child. It's their golden goose. So, yes, they treat Luxium better. Of course, it's not wrong about the Luxium thing, but it's very wrong about everything else. Like milk, if you consider Mista, and if you believe Ike and Vox were coerced, does Hugo fit into this? Sorry, not sure if that term Hugo goes by. I can't also comment much on Kyo. 
as I'm not as up to date on the situation and reasons for graduating. Like wine, if you consider the things that they have said about Uki, Uki have said, and they have been alleged to do, Luca, but are still employed by the company. It's a bit difficult because the communities are really different. Male VTubers are embraced a lot in EG, generally everyone, and you can see that with the sub numbers. While in Hollow, they are embraced, but by a much smaller group of the community, which is also reflected in the sub numbers, as none of the guys either in JP or EN have broken 350k yet, and the fact that in the newest Stars EN wave, no one has broken 100k yet. If we are talking about being supported by their agencies, then I would say that Hollow does a much better job in taking care of their guys, and I agree. The one thing that slightly soured my impression of Hollow Stars was Vesper. He had problems with management, leading to a suspension that may have also played a role in his graduation. Also, I've heard his medicine isn't really available in Japan. And Magni, his roommates talked about how his mental health took a toll. I've heard a rat that it's because of Hollow's corporate brand restricting him too much with regards to content that he wants to do. Of course, you have to get permissions and stuff like that. A Japanese company is going to be a Japanese company. It's going to be a Japanese company. If you're surprised that a Japanese company is restrictive, then um, yeah, you shouldn't be surprised that a Japanese company is restrictive. But at the very least, Hollow Life tries to support their people. If I both applied on a whim, not expecting you to get hired. Uh, so part of it is also on them. I can see that part. But yeah, this one kind of aged like not a fine wine, but a sour grape wine, pretty much. Except, of course, like I said, on uh, Luxium's side, because Luxium is still treated as a golden goose. This person feels like the company uh, is being used as a shield by some of their livers. Let's see what happens. I have long since subscribed to all Niji Sanji talents because of Selen Shock showing the company's incompetency and mismanagement. But I keep thinking about some of the talents with regards to what they have said and done, and how much blame they actually deserve. So let's see. And even right now, I have an extremely small hope that Ike, Box, and Alira have been forced or manipulated to do the black stream. We don't know. We may never know. In my opinion, we may never know. It doesn't absolve them from the consequences of that stream, but it softens the disappointment I feel about them. For Uki and Hex, my hope is even smaller, but they're still there because if I recall correctly, Sayid said something about ma management encouraging them to be edgy. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Still quite a line though. This is why, despite everything, I want everyone to get out of Nidhi Sanji and continue being financially stable. At least for the while, because sooner or later, their true selves will be revealed. If they're truly innocent, they'll be accepted by the community. If they did something wrong under the coercion of the company, but apologies, apologize and take steps to make amends, they would probably be forgiven by the majority. But if they turned out to be just as S as before, there's no excuse. Thanks for listening to my rant. I'm just so disappointed of what happened. The silver lining is that I've opened myself up to watching other smaller companies and indies, which is what a lot of people have done, and it's good. Enjoy smaller indies, enjoy smaller companies, enjoy smaller people that are creating content that you guys might want to partake in. Uh, do that because they deserve to be given that opportunity. They deserve to be given that um, extra little push and, you know, small VTubers like myself and others uh, work really hard. I also want to add that even the, sh the S ones hope they get professional help. They need to recover and do better, being that the company has made their behavior worse before joining. Either way, management has created a toxic culture that exists and will bring out the worst in, in the talents, of course, because they're, if they're left to be the way that they're going to be, it's going to be toxic for everybody. Everyone deserves a second chance after the Nidhi Sanji, Box, Illyra, etc. If they end up being S even after leaving Nidhi Sanji, well, then they had their second chance and shouldn't be given another one. That's what makes it a second chance. Honest and amicable. Honest remorse and regret. That's what second chances are for. For those type of moments. When you make a mistake, you realize you made a mistake, you try to fix that mistake, and given that chance to show that you're better. That's what always should be given to everybody. So Rima Evanstar is a YouTuber who creates videos about... Uh, topics she doesn't necessarily go into the dramas field but she does create videos on topics like she created one about luca recently um and the ndf is very angry about the uh things that she pointed out that luca said at some point she's just talking about it around one hour and 50 minutes this was a stream also seen burner accounts also went for her and dislike bombed her stream before she even started just posting this for more information on the ndf actions i will be honest i never understood needy sister's actions and i'm not talking about how unhinged they can be i mean if they are super obsessed with the talents and it shouldn't be the number one here with us asking for better treatment for the talents. Like, shouldn't they be there for the talents? You know, like, if they actually love the talents, should they want the talents to change? But no, they're they're kind of in a weird parasocialism. Don't they, wouldn't they like to have people they love so much to be safe and happy in an environment either outside or inside of Niji? Why the F do they pretend the company and the staying of the talents in there with so many issues being proven? I will never understand that. So yeah, people hated this. They hate bomb the stuff. Irrational people will have irrational actions. A rational person, it is impossible to understand the irrational. You can only take note of their actions and, well, shake your head in befuddlement and discuss it all on how far they are taking it and will take their schizo workings. 
I would appreciate a summary of how NDF Needy Sisters threatened Rima, though. I have faith that Rima is a strong girl, she is. She's a strong horse girl, and will shrug off the schizo streaming of idiots with the water of ducks back. She quickly explains it at the same time. I give the quick LD, a TLDR. She used the fan art that person allegedly did as a thumbnail for that stream, and the person demanded it to be removed ASAP, threatening to sue her and copy strike her. This is at 5 a.m. according to her. She told them it would be done immediately in the morning, but it was too early to wake up her artist, but that person demanded it had to be nothing now. Luckily, no Sagi and Azaheda made her a new thumbnail. That would be okay, but also her Chad thumbnail artist sneaked and made her a new one on, a, on his work PC. Many zero follower account newly made started messaging her the same, remove the image, and you should be ashamed, etc. Stream dislike to hell, I imagine, by the NDF. Edit, I'm sure I butchered that, so for exactly what happened, watch the video and drop her a like. She should follow up with the artist and then make see if it was really the artist. Again, I'm sure she's strong horse girl. I'll move past this. Yeah, she wasn't uh, continuing. If people really want to, they can catch the video. Plus, give us support. As for me, I'll put her on a second monitor while I play Hollow Cure. And none of us, none of the, the people in uh, VTubing uh, have a problem with that. She wasn't that down. Even mentioned if she was more awake, she probably would just keep it out of spite. But I guess suddenly being in a situation can make people shaken even more at 5 a.m. She will never beat the horse girl allegations. I mean, if she can get in contact with the artist and see if they really didn't want it to be used. It was impersonation. She can put it back up for that ex extra spite with a pinned comment. You know, that type of thing. If there was a dislike bomb, I failed spectacularly. My dislike extension to, is to be trusted. 583 likes, 3 dislikes. I think the dislike bomb was probably removed because um, YouTube will do that. If you suddenly get a dislike bomb, suddenly with people that don't watch any of your stuff like they'll watch zero of your stuff or maybe a second or two just to dislike bomb your stuff they'll remove it they can give you a thousand dislikes but they will remove it because they need to watch at least i think five to ten minutes of a video in order for that dislike to even take they're a cult at this point they blindly follow and believe what these pieces of s are saying because they'll have a lot of hot avatar and i mean that's the big take i want to have on this is um rima did nothing wrong uh she d is not the type of person to actually go for drama like in the sense of creating drama for herself she likes staying out of drama and i respect that deeply from her because you should try to stay out of drama if you can if you can do it stay out of it if not if the drama comes to you well that's something different you didn't actually look for it so that is forgivable that is like not like crazy out there wild type of thing you know what i mean so <clears throat> I say, you know, stay out of drama while you can. And uh, Rima is the type of person who does that. I says, as long as you're against them, they won't believe you because they feel invalidated. They feel that if they do believe the whole truth, they would like the bad guys ironic. They don't want to feel betrayed by the single person who made them feel validated. They are that insecure about themselves that they need the validation of these horrible people. I'm not even mad at this point. They look so pathetic grasping and hanging on that single thread of hope that their Oshi is innocent despite all the proof shown to them. Of course, when you have the heavy amount of parasocialism they have, of course, you're going to want your Oshi to be the uh, shiny beacon that you see them as, whether they are a shiny beacon or not, whether they are a shiny beacon of pure S or they're a shiny beacon of, you know, wonderful enjoyment. More coping from Nidhi Sanji sisters, Nidhi Sanji fans, like the, the very, very unhinged fans, not the regular fans, not the regular people out there. I'm talking about the very extreme parasocial fans uh, who want to excuse everything that their Oshi does because it's their Oshi. Here we go. LMAO, what a bunch of hypocrites. The amount of copium I'm seeing is just astounding. I haven't stopped laughing at how many freaks are in denial. That's bad. I mean, that's bad. Don't call them freaks, of course. But um, these people do have a little bit too much uh, invested in these people. Do not invest yourself too much in a VTuber. Do not invest yourself too much in somebody. Um, look at everyone objectively. That's what I say. Yes, we're not childish enough to hate Luca and stop buying his merch just for a signature. Me, personally, I couldn't care less. He's busy all the time and had bad handwriting, so he paid someone and asked their friend to help do it for him. Like on every job, simple as that. Sob, sob. I bought Luka Kaneshiro merch with the slightest different curves, and a connected light at one of his letters is different from the signature before. Sob, sob. I will not commit blah, 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 because Luka's signature is 0.0005 millimeter curvier. Yeah, they're trying to make fun. They're trying to do sarcasm and all that kind of stuff. Didn't work. What this person says makes sense. Please don't call others freaks as pushing the line. While open and civil discussion is okay, trying to showcase others and put them down is not. Posts will stay up, but I will be locking comments. They believe the Raziel signature claims. I like this. I like the way the mod is acting. They have to believe everything else is in the document, so they're looking at the, ho the horrible behavior, the trans, uh, breaking several NDAs and multiple broken rules, and just accepting it. Needy Sisters have a completely lost it all. Apparently, and I see it's not necessarily zealous followers of a figure under controversy will often react to claims against them by relax, relax reflexively denying claims uh, coming up in narratives to justify the figure's behavior. 
It's possible for them to just justify some of the things claimed against them while still reflexively denying other claims. They might consider the signature issue to be less significant compared to other claims. It's true. You know how much denial they have here? Many say they hated Raziel, but they're going to keep Luca's merch signed by Raziel. One more, and one normal person questioned that if they hated her that much, they considered her a horrible person, then they should throw away those products only for needy sisters insulting the person and calling them a moron. They would always support Luca. I mean, we can agree they already supported him with that 2%. They can throw or resell uh, if it was, you know, because of Raziel. They should have done that, but they also want to really accept that the signature is not Luca's. As far as I have seen from them, denial, anger, and now trying to do dumb bargains. They trashed Zion and Selen for less egregious uh, points. Basically, for less things, they they hurt Selen and they hurt Zion for less. Legal Minds have brought up a very interesting possibility of a lawsuit for wrongful termination for gender-based discrimination. But, of course, uh, Zion said he's not, not going to be doing those things because it costs too much money. Two people who got Ken, Zion and Selen, are girls. While the ones who are allowed to get away with anything are the guys. Hugo may be evidence for this since the graduation was quite suspicious and allegedly happened after a lawsuit against Niji and the person behind Hugo is non-binary despite their character being male. Uh, then the entire company is a hypocrite and only cares about money bringing in. Well, I agree the company is hypocritical and cares about money above everything else. But to be fair, Selen was their fifth most popular EN liver after Miss the Left, aka she was the most popular female there. I can only imagine how they would react if she were to actually get terminated. I mean, what would they do besides a nuclear meltdown? At least they're providing us with some kind of entertainment. Of course, you know, it's entertainment for some people. But um, like I said, not good that he called them freaks. Not good they did that because that kind of throws a wrench into your argument being believed. When you start throwing on hominem attacks, you start throwing attacks, period. It it kind of devalues your, your, uh, your argument when you are trying to demonize the person before anyone can read anything. When you're putting it at the top of your argument, then you are doing yourself a disservice and you're doing other people a disservice by doing that. I wonder how people who pass the, is feeling, uh, the uh, are feeling right now. Enough time has passed since the audition note came dedicated actress Nidhi Sanji. They're bound to debut anytime now. I wonder if they're still in the company or are waiting official debut. This was for actual voice acting, I believe. Uh, VTuber auditions will close in a few hours. I miss a chance. And yeah, you know, it's going to be interesting to see that. And what happened to the markets? Any color stock was going down yesterday morning. Sunday going up in the afternoon. Uh, any color and cover corp stock price follow each other ups and downs pretty closely due to mutual funds and ETS buying and selling both. But cover share price didn't see a similar spike yesterday. So it seems people are buying any color specifically. Is this a day trader buying or not? Because this is cover corp just being stagnant. And this is this going up. It didn't go up by a lot, honestly, but it did go up. It went from 2450 to 2474. So it didn't go up a lot. Cover is in a stable spot and there's not a lot of news. So the price movement is following the market average. Look at Nikkei average, which is almost in the mirror of exact cover. Any color was heavily uh, shorted for a while. Uh, in interpreting the translation correctly for cover, about 10% of their margins, positions are shorts. Any color is about 30, per 30 plus percent of margins are shorts. So that could make things go up and down. It makes sense. Funny is you go to any hollow fan corridor community. There's almost no one talking about the stock because they won't do anything much for their Oshis activities. They're probably more focusing on who is near 1 million subs to celebrate the OG Song View celebration beating Kurosanji's stock price. Unlike Nidhi Sanji Any Color, there's an innate trust in Hololive cover that is shown in their IR and quarterly reports. So it's not going to be moving up and down because there's a lot of trust. People are trying to get a stock of 2434 for that meme. Probably stocks being stocks unless there's like shorting and other things going on. They can't do a buyback unless they really want to get delisted from the TSE. Plus buybacks are announced through their IR page, um, their investor relations page. They can't just magically pull off a buyback. I think people, finance institutions are just buying the dip, uh, but highly unsure. Also unsure why cover stock is dropping, but I wouldn't be so alarmed by it since it's just a one day of trading. Of course, one day doesn't mean everything. So that's my take on it. It's just normal stuff. Um, you know, the variance can go plus or, or up or down 50 yen. That's less than a dollar. So, you know, it can go up or down that much in a day. And that's normal for things to go up or down in a day like that. Mo like bigger stocks, they always do that. They go up or down in a day, but you know, they, they start up. Sometimes they can start down. I've invested before, so I kind of have seen this before. Uh, it happens. And it's not something to be worried about. Thank you for watching, of course. Take care and uh, comment down below, as well as look at my socials that are in the description. Uh, my Discord server is a nice place for you guys to enjoy. It's a nice, comfortable place, a safe place for everybody. And also, look in front of you. There's going to be something for you guys to take a look at that you, hopefully you'll also be entertained by. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Make sure to be happy. Bye-bye.